We're living in a world experiencing rapid urbanisation, industrialisation, and the impacts of climate change, heat waves, droughts and floods are becoming increasingly common in urban areas. The Mekong region, including Cambodia, Laos, Thailand and Vietnam, faces some of the highest risks of flooding globally. These environmental challenges do not affect everyone equally. Farmers and fisher folk are on the front line. Disadvantaged groups, women, children, the elderly, people with disabilities and homeless people are often those most affected. While conventional grey infrastructure like dams and levees have been relied upon, they alone cannot provide climate resilient cities at an affordable cost, and even at times they can be part of the problem. This is where nature-based or green solutions, such as working with our natural systems, constructing new wetlands, rain gardens and bioswales, can complement conventional approaches. But how do we decide which solutions are best for a particular area? The Resilient Urban Centres and Surrounds program provides a structured process for identifying, comparing, and then funding of mix of grey, green, and community-based solutions, designed to respond to local needs and opportunities, and support inclusive development for our most vulnerable groups. Supported by the Australian Government, the Resilient Urban Centres and Surrounds program brings together local expertise with national and international experts to apply nature-based solutions in a range of locations. We're building collaborations, developing case studies in capital and secondary cities across the Mekong sub-region. While each context is unique, our case studies highlight the common benefits of nature-based solutions, contributing significantly to climate-resilient urban development providing broader advantages such as improved water quality, enhanced thermal comfort, connecting green spaces to promote healthy ecosystems, better amenities, recreational opportunities, accessibility, and promoting circular economy practices, fostering collaborations between the public, private, and community sectors. For our case studies, initial strategic assessments are conducted through concept designs and economic evaluations, laying the foundation for further investigation and implementation. Beyond developing solutions for specific locations, this program provides opportunities to build capacity and share knowledge about implementing and upscaling nature-based solutions across the Greater Mekong region.